We are not slaves. Yes. We are citizens. We are not slaves. Yes. And we will continue to let them know that indeed we are citizens. We are not slaves. Wherever we stand in this country, we stand as the citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We are not to be intimidated. Yes. You walk around here, you see policemen and women with their guns. You see security agents with their guns. And I ask you, where are you when we are being kidnapped? Where are you when we are being killed? Where are you when Shekho is pointing his fingers in our eyes? Where are you when all the bad things are happening in Nigeria? You come out with your guns. You come out standing. You tell us you're men. You tell us you're women. But you're just wimps. You are doing nothing. Nigerians are no more safe on the streets. Nigerians are no more safe in their houses. Nigerians are not safe anywhere. It is protesters that come out that you come out and intimidate. We will not be intimidated. No Nigerian is more Nigerian than any Nigerian. That's right. That's right. Every one of us occupy the highest office in this land. And that is the office of the citizen. Yes. The president occupies the highest political office, so his office is less than our office. Oh, yeah. I am an employer of the president. Oh, yeah. I pay the president's salary. Yes. I pay the bills of his family. And he must protect me, whether he likes it or not. As the commander-in-chief, the president has killed. How many police were killed by terrorists in Bono? What have you guys done? I needed to see my commander-in-chief be one. I needed to see all of you go after Sheikh and bring Sheikh out. You are standing here with front of protesters. We have a win. And soldiers are being killed all over. Madam, your colleague has just been killed. Yes. What have you done about it? Yeah. We all are suffering. And as you're waiting here, the next phone call might come and they will say they've picked your child. Yeah. What will you do? God will not forgive, forbid. You know why, madam? Because those people it happened to, they too pray. Yes. The only way God will forgive is by us giving using what God has given us. We cannot be praying. We cannot be a nation of praying people. We call ourselves the most populous country in Nigeria. Absolutely. Really? But when it comes to protest, we are the least populous country. Absolutely. Because we have cowards as citizens. Oh, yeah. People who are afraid to die. Yeah. Are we living in Nigeria? No. Is this life? This is not life. I spent seven months in the UK. I just came back two weeks ago. I just finished my 14 days quarantine. You know what? I wasn't treated as a slave in another man's land. So who would dare to treat me as a slave in my own country? Because we call out those who fail. Every day you get a phone call from someone in the middle of the night mm. telling you that they need money for health care, mm. they need money for school fees, Nigeria they story. need money for this and that. Nigeria Nigerians story. make demands on fellow citizens, but they dare not make demands on the government Shame. that yeah. are failing them, that yeah. are looting them, mm. that are packing their things away. Mm. It is yes. high time we begin to do tough law. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Enough of the nonsense. Yes. Where some people will stay at home, they expect us to put our lives on the line for them. No, and then yes. they will call and tell us to bring money. People have been making excuses. All you yesterday, what was on social media? Oh, sure, what is the one doing it? They will not come. Henry Sheed is the one doing it. They will not come. Oh, Adi and is the one doing it. They will not come. Oh, Adi is the one doing it. They will not come. You know what? <laughs> Excuses are like shoes, and you always find the one that fits. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's time for us to stand as a nation. Yeah. I'm tired of being afraid in my country. Yeah. I'm tired of hiding in my house. I'm tired of paying unnecessary school fees. I'm tired of paying bills. How much is the tidy care that they pay? What would you buy? A bag of rice? Yes. And that's it? And then we'll have a president who has the guts to do nothing, and yet he sent in, in security agents to come and intimidate us. You all should be ashamed of your yes. Very ashamed. You all should be ashamed Very of ashamed. Your You all should look at yourself and let the tears fall down. Because we are killing this nation. Yes. Matter how much do they pay you? Nothing. How much is your Their bosses take all their money. They take all of their, 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 their welfare. They live in debt. The child of the president and the child of the policeman.
man should have equal rights in this country. They should have access to good quality education. How much is the school fees in Regent where most of them have their children? You see us on the streets. You think we are hungry, that's why we're, we're not hungry. hungry. We aren't! We, we are, are angry, and that's why. The people that are hungry, the people who are stealing our money. How much is it your school They are the hungry people. How much is your salary? How much do you Nonsense. pay for your children's school fees? Do your children get the same access to good quality education like your children? No. That's why we are here. So the next time they send you to protest them and tell you to put a And you come out with guns. Head, think about it. Yes. And the thing is that as long as we are committed people, it doesn't matter yes. the numbers.